Sweets and welcome back to Sweet Sue's Kitchen. Today, let's get right to it. We are in the kitchen. We are going to show you how to make classic devil eggs, but with a twist because I don't do things ordinary. So, welcome into the kitchen. Let's get to the ingredients. Of course, we're going to need us some boiled eggs. We're going to need some mayo. We're going to need some salad cubes. We're going to need some parsley and paprika for garnish. We're going to need us some white distilled vinegar. We're going to need, of course, our blend of seasoning, which includes some seasoning salt, garlic powder, black pepper, onion powder, and some dill. So these are my common go-to seasonings when it comes to our potato salad as well as our classic devil eggs with a twist, you guys. All right, and last but not least, a little pinch of sugar. All right, so let's get to it. You have boiled your water and boil these eggs. First thing first, you boil the water, put it on a medium to high heat, add about a teaspoon of salt, let the water come to a roaring boil, then you're gonna add your eggs in gently, and you're gonna boil it for approximately about 15 minutes is what I get, 15, 20 minutes, and it should be a complete boil. Now after that, you're going to drain off the hot water off the eggs and then you're going to put the eggs in a ice bath just the way that you see and you're going to let that sit for another 10 to 15 minutes and because you're letting it sit for 10 to 15 minutes, it allows it to be pliable for you to peel the eggshells off with any problem. So I am going to show you how I deshell my eggs. I've showed you earlier in the clip of how to boil, or the instruction of how to boil, and how, also how to set it aside so that it can be easy for you to peel, okay? So I'm showing you at the beginning, we're gonna crack these eggs simply just like that. And if you find it, it's still a little struggle to get the shells off so that you won't get any shells in your mixture. We're gonna run a gentle stream of cold water and just stick your egg under there and peel it off. You should have some success. So I just Tap it gently to get it cracked so that my fingers can do the work and along with the water. And this one is coming off real good. And just take your time in peeling your eggs because you want your eggs nice and pretty when you present it on the table for your family as well as your next gathering or cookout. You see? All right, so now that we have that all squared away, um, we're gonna start on our mixture. First of all, before we start on our mixture, I forgot to let you know that I do use a little Dijon mustard in my mixture. So that's the added twist, okay? All right, so make sure you have all of your supplies, which you're gonna use. Make sure you have all of that next to you, ready to go. So we're gonna get our um, cutting board prepared to slice the eggs in half. Get you a nice, good, sharp knife, and you're gonna cut directly center of the egg. 
and we're going to remove the yolk, okay? that you did not forget to pray. Anyway, so we're all done with our plopping out of our egg yolks. And what we wanna do is take our fork and we're gonna smash them down as finely as we can. Get them nice and crumbled. And you're gonna keep doing that until it's all crushed into little pieces. nice and well it should look like this when you get through with it as best as you can you might find a little crump here and there but you just smash it on down just like that now we are ready to prepare our wet uh, ingredients so we done with that Now, this is the bowl that I use to put my uh, egg whites in, so the actual egg itself after removing the egg yolk. All right, so now we are going to add in, this is about a tablespoon and a half of mayo. And you don't want to use Miracle Whip. Some use Miracle Whip, so I'm not going to shy against that, but if you want to use just regular old mayo, just get yourself some regular old mayo. Um, whichever one that you prefer is your choice, okay? So we're using, like I said, it's a tablespoon and a half of mayo. And we have done about 12 eggs. Let me correct my math, hold on. All right, so we have done 12 eggs, which give us 24 devil eggs all right so that's the recipe we're doing 12 eggs so it's a dozen of eggs and which makes 24 devil eggs all right so we're going to add in about a little teaspoon of the Dijon mustard not too much just a little bit We're going to add in a half a teaspoon of our white distilled vinegar. So I'm measuring it. Half a teaspoon. Now, you guys know, if you've been following me all this time, you know that I do not measure. I cook with feelings, right? So I eyeball everything. But for the sake of the video and for my beginner cook, I'm just going to tell you some measurements that I use. Now, you can adjust these measurements according to your taste so that you can achieve the best double eggs that you're going to put on that picnic table or your next family function, okay? So I'm just stirring it in nice and good. 
I'm gonna add in my sweet cubes. Now I have, this is a tablespoon. Now, like I said, you can use more if you like. And I kept the juice along with it, so. And now, I am going to add a pinch of my sugar right into the mixture. And give it a stir. Because I want to make sure all of it is nice and incorporated so all the flavors would just, you know, settle. And it'll blend real well into our mix. All right, so next we are going to add in our, well, I'll do it this way. Because since this is the bigger bowl, I'm just going to add my wet into my dry. And if you find that you don't have enough mayo, like I said, you can add some more. So you don't want it too wet and you don't want it too dry. You want it just right. Like Goldilocks and the Bears. All right. Going to mix that in. Mix that right on in. And see, this is what this is what I'm saying about if you think you don't have enough mayo. So I'm going to add in just another half teaspoon of mayo because I don't want it. And by all means, taste your food as you go. And you want to make sure it's the right taste. And you can sprinkle in a pinch of salt if you like to. So I'm about to take a quick taste of how it tastes if I need to adjust my vinegar. I think I'm going to add in another half teaspoon. So it'll be um, one teaspoon of vinegar. One full teaspoon of vinegar. And you can use your little measuring spoon too. All right, so now I'm going to sprinkle in my seasoning. And all the seasons that I mentioned that I'm using, all of it was um, a half teaspoon of each. Just by the look of it. I would like a little more pickles. Now this is optional. So you don't have to add all the pickles in there if you don't like a lot of pickles. But for me, I like my salad cubes. So we're just gonna add in just a little more of the pickles along with the juice. Just like that. And that was another um, teaspoon full for the sake of measurement that I add in there. And 
always give you a nice toss. A little toss and turn, a little rock and roll. And your mixture is done. Give it another taste. Tastes pretty good to me. All right, so now it's time for us to fill in the shells. All right, so let's get to it. We're gonna get our tools in place. Now, if you don't have a piping bag to pipe out your um, mix, then you would use whatever you have, spoon, butter knife, anything just to smear it into your shell. So you can be creative by getting a Ziploc bag and snip off a very uh, tiny piece of the end of the Ziploc bag so that you can make a homemade makeshift uh, piping bag. All right, so that being said, I'm using what I have, which is my measuring spoon and my teaspoon. And so I'm going to use that as an aid to kind of guide how much I'm putting into my shelf so they can be nice and pretty. So it's all about presentation. People eat with their eyes first. So if you want to make it look nice and pretty at the luncheon, at the function, in your backyard party, then you'll take your time and do this step. This step here is very crucial. This will make or break. I'm just kidding. No pressure. All right. Once they bite into it, I don't think they'll even remember what it looked like <laughs> once they put it in their mouth. Parsley. So we're going to put 
So we're gonna garnish each one just a little pinch. Get your little chef fingers going. For all my beginner cuts, you know you can do this. There's nothing to it, right? And you saw how easy and simple it was. Voila. Just like that. And you have yourself some classic devil eggs. Sweet Sue style because this is how I make it and this is how I, um, this is one of my versions and I got many other versions and I can link my other video to um, one of my other recipes and I did that um, very well. Anyway, so thank you all for watching. Thank you all for like, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you all for joining in on our uh, family. Uh, hopefully, prayerfully, I'll have some joining members so that you can receive some of my perks that I'm getting geared up to put on uh, so that I can show my appreciation to everyone who support me along this journey. All right, so stay tuned for some Cutie Pies Overload as they patiently wait for me to finish this video of these devil eggs. It is so delicious, y'all, and you would not regret using this recipe and share it with your families. And like I always say, keep God first in everything you do, and when you do that, everything you desire will be added to you. So stay blessed. I love you all, and stay tuned for the cutie pies. my sweets here are all the cutie pies everybody just take a bite <laughs> y'all like it yeah uh-huh see now we tell the sweets how does it taste Ten out of ten. Ten Yay! Out of, isn't it out of infinite? Oh, okay. So, is this good at a backyard event? Yeah. yeah. Should they make the recipe? Yeah. yeah. Oh, all right. So, what does Papa Bear always say? Gotta get it, gotta go. Gotta get it, gotta go. Thank y'all. Love you, my sweets. Yeah. Mm -hmm.